Hello everyone, we will continue the topic log object and in this video we will cover yes how to pass the username to the message number because in the previous video we covered yes whenever we want to display the message ideally the message should be in a sense that who has logged that username should display in the message. So what I will do, I will go to change mode of the program and we all give the message through message class. So firstly, I will go to SC91 transaction code. We all created the message class through SC91 transaction code. I will go to change mode. As of now, what is the message? The order number is already locked. Ideally, what should be the message? If I am giving order number one and order number one is already logged by different user, then what the message should be? Order number one is already logged by suppose another user is r hatha one so how it should be the order number one is already logged by r hatha one suppose i am going for order number two and order number two is already logged by r hatha one so how the message should be the order number two is already logged by R hatha one. It means we need to pass the values of order number and username to this message number. What is the message number? 0, 0, 0. Whenever you want to pass values to the message number, we will always, always pass through M percent, M percent. The operator is M percent. Yes, anyways, in the future playlist of a app programming, you can understand or you can learn this topic in full detail. But as of now, just understand whenever we want to pass the values to the message number, we need to use a operator m percent the order number i will write here m percent so this m percent will be replaced by one two three four whatever the order number we are passing from the screen is already locked by user and i will write m percent here so this M percent will be replaced by the username who has logged this order number. So in this message, I want to pass two values, one for the order number, another for the user. So I passed two M percent. But in a message number, maximum, maximum, you can go up to four M percent. We can miss in a message number, maximum you can pass up to four values. Maximum M percent allowed in a message is four, four. Now, never forgot to save the message class because we changed the message. So I'm just going for save. Now, now I will go to the program. Corresponding changes needs to be done in the program also yes correct so now we need to pass order number and username to this particular message so how i will pass using with with now in which particular parameter you have the value of order number p underscore o and o Suppose if I am passing 1, so this very this parameter will be equal to 1. If I am passing 2, this parameter will be equal to 2. Now, I need to pass the username. 
So which system variable has the username psi msg v1. So what I will do? I will simply, simply declare a variable for the user. Those who are new to programming, whenever I want to declare, I can always, always declare through data. I will give some name to the variable. You can give any name. It is totally your wish. Suppose I am writing LV underscore user type. Now you can give any type, yes, but username. Suppose I am saying R Mehta, R Mehta one. They are characters. They are character. So we can give any type of character, yes. Suppose I am saying C is character, but never forgot to give the length. Suppose I am giving the length 20. So I declared one variable of character type which has a length of 20 20 means username will take maximum up to 20 characters now if psi sub rc is not equal to zero it means if the order number is already logged i am writing lv underscore user is equal to psi msg v1. It means this system variable has the username who has logged. We are passing to lv underscore user and I will use lv underscore user here. Just simple. Whatever is coming into psi msg v1 I'm passing to this variable and that variable I am using. I used LV as a naming convention and as a programmer, we are abide by the best practices we should follow. LV stands for local variable. So whatever the user who has logged, we pass it to LV user values always pass from right to left and that variable I am using in the message. So order number will be replaced by this m percent. This user name will be replaced by this m percent. Now we will check the syntax and activate. Now for the best understanding, we will see in the debugging. So as of now, for R Mehta, okay, I will close this also. For this R Mehta, only one session is open for the program. I am putting a breakpoint. I will go to SM12. If I will search, Nothing is in SM12. I'm running. Order number one, payment mode suppose N. I am the first user who is locking the order number one. I will go to desktop three and I'm doing F6. Size sub RC is zero because I'm the first user who is working on order number one. Now we will go to another user ID. This is okay. I, I will search simply for R Mehta. You can see order number one is locked. Now I will go to different ID. This is R Mehta one. And we will run same to same program. This is our logic. I'll put a breakpoint for the best understanding. I will run. I will give order number one, same to same order number one, and R Mehta one want to set it to C. But it is already logged by R Mehta. I'll go to desktop three. Now I will execute this logic. And you can see size sub RC is one. 
because it is already logged by R delta. So this if condition is true, this system variable has the user who has logged. See, R Mehta 1 is running, but it is already logged by which user? R Mehta. So from the psi msg v1, we are passing to which variable value? LV underscore user. Now you can see LV underscore user is what? R Mehta. So in this message 000, first m percent will be replaced by one and second m percent will be replaced by r mahatta if i am executing you can see the order number one is already logged by user r mahatta and this is real project because yes in the project we should get the well or user who has logged that particular thing and which system variable is helping us? Psi MSG V1. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we have written the logic that how we can display the username in the message. So we went to SC91 transaction code. Whenever you want to pass values to a message number, always, always use M%. With the help of M% percent, you can pass and in a message number maximum you can use up to 4 M percent and how you can pass the corresponding values from the program by using with. After with you can pass the variables or value variables which has the values. So after with we pass two things. This has the value of order number. This has the value of the user. We declared one variable. We pass the value of system variable to that variable and we use that particular variable. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.